Um. Anyway, Amber, what would what would you rather? <laughs> um. What she said. <laughs> snort wasabi. So apparently she would rather snort wasabi than squeeze a lemon in her eye. <laughs> you? Um. That's what I said. Yeah, I would do the uh, wasabi since apparently I already did it. <laughs> he did! Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. he did. He kind of snorted it and it ended up like, he may have not got a lot of it up his nose, but as I said before, he ended up tearing up a teeny weeny bit. So. A little bit, but it hurt. I'll admit it. It hurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, here's a little, here's a little brain teaser. Would you rather lick a dirty toilet seat or drink toilet water? Here's what I say to that. <laughs> drink toilet water because you flush it each time. That doesn't mean it comes back up clean, sweetheart. It don't matter. It's so cleaner you, than so, licking. So you'd rather lick a dirty toilet seat. Well, no. I would rather drink the water, <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> I'm just saying, folks. And don't worry. We don't actually do go out and do any of these dares. Well, so. well that that you know of. <laughs> kidding. Mike! <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. that you would like to tell us? No. Yeah. Did you, uh, did you uh, drink any toilet water no. recently that I know of? Good, because if you did, you know I wouldn't be kissing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I see. Um, how many more of these you want to do? Um. Well, let's give them about three more, and then we'll uh, oh. we'll we'll cut to commercial. <laughs> or we can just you know in the segment just t talk some random stuff, and then we'll go to the, then we'll go to break. All right. Well, now that would we would you are... rather oh. consume fifteen pounds of raw bacon? Ew. Or be bathed in a tub of bile. Bile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I, 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 that's kind of a toughie it, because consuming raw bacon will actually if, give you diseases. And if those of you who know what bile is, you know I'm going, nah. Bile is actually like, just if you don't, um. It's, it's like it's butt juice. Bu <laughs> what? <laughs> it was in an er what? It was in an earlier episode of Mike and the Crew. It's, I don't, I don't know what happened to it, but if you ask... Um, if you ask my friend who's, um, GBK on the show, he'll, and you tell him about the bio episode, he'll know what you're talking about. Anyway, um, apparently I can also ask him about the, uh, Tampon John episode. Which one? Which one? That one we did actually use on an episode. <laughs> Which one? Which one? That bottom one, right, the bottom one, right there. <laughs> I think I think everybody who okay we're not gonna we're not gonna say it we're just kind of gonna discuss it be between ourselves so for that one would you do one or would you do number two I would die before I do either <laughs> of those would, would, the would you do the top one or would you do the bottom one um it, see um <laughs> I think the second one would be really awkward they're both awkward well they're they're both awkward one is like awkward turtles so awkward to have babies the other is Awkward turtles, awkward head babies, awkward head babies, head babies, babies, palm tree. <laughs> palm tree. Dead. <laughs> palm tree. De de dead awkward turtle. turtle. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't think I would do any of these, considering the fact that um both of them, my parents would kill me. So technically, um, the second one they wouldn't kill you because it's there. On it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but still, um, when when you ca when you catch your parents doing something and you can't look them in the eye for um, <laughs> for and, a month straight, and so if it's you like, oh, and if by chance you did see the first episode of Mike and the Crew in the morning, you do know what we're talking about. Yeah, as I said, when you catch your parents doing something yeah. for a month straight and you can't, look and them we're in the adopted. Eye. <laughs> <laughs> Just because of adopted doesn't mean you have no. to bring that up every time. No. I said I would adopt it. I don't want to think of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, All right, so here, we here. can make Amber stop squirming, right, here we go. Okay. squirming in her boots. We're going to stop talking about Would that. you rather have bad B.O. or bad breath? Neither. <laughs> um. Got to gotta pick one. Um, I'd rather the breath because I can avoid talking to somebody's face. That's true. Hmm. B.O., you kind of Everybody can't would up. smell. Like, even somebody walking by me at Walmart will be like, ew. But then the bad breath, I could just be like, talking. If I talk, be like, how's it going? It was like, why do you have your head turned? No, no reason. You don't, you don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, no, I noticed something about B.O. because of where I work. Yeah, it's it's kind of bad, especially. And I got and I to gotta, I gotta say something about this, especially um, 
those Europeans, I don't think they know what deodorant is. Hey, European on my boot. <laughs> uh, anyway. You might be a redneck if you consider the pee can, the can you pee in. Anyway. You might be a redneck. <laughs> I might be a redneck. All right, so for the last would you rather, would you rather get stuck in quicksand or dive into hot lava? I would rather get stuck in quicksand, quite frankly. Why is that? Um, Because quicksand, if you're like... Ode to Indiana Jones here. If you stay, um, if you stay still, it will actually it won't suck you in. But you have to get out though. But yeah, it will eventually suck you under, but it'll take not forever. As fast. No, just not exactly. As fast. So it's like a slow hot lava. Yeah. You jump in it, you Again. instantly like disintegrate. So oh it's yeah, like, which is good though, because if is I'd it? rather the lava because I die instantly instead of suffering and being like, am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? What's gonna happen? Good point. All right, so that concludes our would you rather segment. Alright, so now I guess we're just going to talk about some random crap before we go into the break. <sighs> Weren't we doing that already? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we can give you some more random crap for maybe a couple more minutes before right. we stop assailing so, your So, apparently, ears. Amber has to be to work at 1. That's why we started doing this at 9, so... Why don't we, like, randomly just talk about, like, jobs? Mm. No. Why not? What, why not? Because I gotta go to my job. Well, but we your can... your job is cool. Yeah. You work at you, you work at Universal. I have to do a stinky doo doo laundry route. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, and I work for I work for um. Let me just put it to you this way: what's nice. referred to as the happiest place on earth, and um. It's a lie. Apparently that that is a lie, but apparently for the, for the little kids it's happy place, happy. Place. Yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you told me to be nice. What the heck? Hey, Disney is one of the I best. I don't work at Disney <laughs> ever. It is honestly one of the best rides Ow. and places ever. Just mm, yeah, okay. more for kids and not for adults. Like where I work, Universal. Unless you go to Ho- unless for... you go to Hollywood Studios and Hollywood you Studios check is, out that the is cool. awesome stunt shows. Um, Indiana Jones, Epic oh, yeah. Spectacular, and the American Idol Experience. That was cool. That is cool. And, Plus, and some, also the lights, camera, and action. You know what's cool that I noticed? The guy who's the host of Rising Star also does the host for the American Idol Experience. Yeah, apparently you can work for two, two of both course. companies, both competing parks. They're supposedly rivals, but nah, they do. Yeah, a lot not together. really. Now, see, I thought if you applied for one, the other one would hate you. Like, no, you cannot work. You work for them. Them. Well, we, they, we don't hate each other as much as we say we do. It's kind of just... That's just for the media, apparently. Apparently, it's just for the media. So, all you out there, Disney and Universal, do not hate each other. It is nothing but friendly rivalry. So, if you ever hear anybody... Yeah. Quote-unquote, friendly rivalry. Hey, hey, we have some stupid people, though. Guests come in. What is the stupidest question you've been asked while working at Disney? Okay, my stupidest question has actually, I have had several very retarded, stupid, I really cannot believe you just asked me that, Do questions, tell. Um, one of them being, well, I'll give you two instances, one of them is my costume, ladies and gentlemen, is horrible, apparently when they designed it, it looked great on paper, but when they made the prototype, the um, the comment was, Ugh. and I guess, <laughs> to them, did not mean start over, Hell yeah! it meant, um, <laughs> Apparently it meant, um, okay, let's make more, even though my costume looks like a retarded peacock. So, Didn't you um, also say it looked like the sewing machine threw up? Yeah, but that was before I, <laughs> that was before you and I came up with the uh, peacock statement, so now I just say it looks like a peacock. Um, I have people ask me if I work there in that costume, even while I'm wearing a name tag, so it's kind of like, um, really? <laughs> so, like, how, so... How would the person have asked and how would your response to that be? My response has to be nice and I have to say it with a smile on my face. Trust me, by the end but, of the day, I have no. to unscrew my smile. Had you been able to say what you were thinking for the response? Um, like, like, what, was the, what was the question? The question would be, um, excuse me, miss, do you work here? And I often get it from older folks. And, what and it's would, like, excuse me, miss, do you work here? Now, what would your response be if you could say it? My response would be, um, nope, just walked in and thought I'd give it a try. Here's your sign. Here's your sign. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, the other stupid question that I got. Now, if this had been from a little child, I would have given it to him. But um, this came from an adult who was probably 20 to 30 years old. Asked me if the dinosaurs in Dino Land were real. The- and that time, the cheeky response came out. And I said, yes, they're real. And watch it. They're hungry. They haven't eaten lunch yet. Here's your sign. 
I did not add the here's your sign on the end because I wanted to freak them 